everybody knows way back when episode 66 we had a uh, multi uh bet wagers going hey. on the Come very in. first one that was struck was between nelson and kevin about the chiefs game versus the eagles and uh what was that drink of choice there kevin you know i went so many bets against nelson i don't even remember whatever well you know so, so how do you feel about the game, and how do you feel about losing that bet, Nelson? Um, I, I, I think I feel worse about losing the game versus the bet because, like I was telling people on Facebook, the Chiefs are the new New England Patriots. You know, the refs are going to help them out as much as possible. And I, and I think looking at that game, which I mean, neither defense was good at all. No, both defense but I felt like you know, to, to just keep caught, I, I felt like Philly didn't have the home cooking. You know, to get three touchdowns called back on some iffy calls at home clearly the Chiefs being the new New England Patriots. That's that's all I can say. Do you agree? And with I that, mean, Kevin? a lot of my, a lot of my peeps I'm, 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 at work I'm, 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 was saying, a lot of my peeps at work was saying, "Well, Neil, okay, I we will give you two of them, but we can't give you one of them because we gave you one of the touchdowns because Gainwell actually fumbled and we recovered it before he went in for a touchdown." which I told him I really didn't see the replay on it, so I can't really argue on if he fumbled before he crossed the line or what. But It was out before he went down. Andy should have challenged, but, you know, he didn't. But, you know, if you don't mind me, because of let's finish up. You got anything else to say? Yeah. Okay. Let me say this about the, the – the one touchdown that I felt like they, sh they shouldn't have called back that uh, – Every Chiefs fan in my job said that we got robbed on this. That pick play. That was not a pick play. You can be engaged with a defender within five yards of the line of scrimmage. And they wasn't even running a pick. If you looked at the play, the guy was chasing somebody that was in. He was moving. He was, uh, I forgot what they call it. It made me so mad, but. He was uh the guy he was trying to follow to cover was was in motion. They snapped the ball and then he went like the typical route where they go into the flat and you throw them the ball and they in the end zone. It just so happened that he ran into the guy that was engaged with the receiver. The receiver wasn't even trying to block, he was trying to go to the inside. But they tried to say that his arm extended and he pushed him. So a lot of people agreed that was robbery. Then we were arguing back and forth on the Devontae Smith touchdown because I felt like he, I, me playing, playing D-back in high school, I know they are taught to use the, okay. the they're, they're taught to use the, uh, the line, out, the out of bounds as a defender. So they try to force you out of bounds. You yeah. can't tell me that dude wasn't forcing him. And they said, well, because he was grabbing the Chiefs man's jersey. Well, he was grabbing him after the dude was already pushing him and had already grabbed him. So I told him, you know, they should have let that ride. And then they should have saw that he got three steps inbound before he caught it. So he was reestablished. And then, like I told him, the I can't remember actually the other uh, touchdown, but we was robbed so many times down there on the goal line. It was ridiculous as far as penalties.